On Sunday, we heard this trilogy of parables from Luke chapter 15 about the, the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the prodigal son. And they're all about the, the joy that heaven has whenever a sinner is found uh, or whenever a sinner repents, which are saying the same thing. God's finding the sinner is the sinner's repentance. And it's all about the joy that heaven has when, when they're found. And Jesus told this to a group of Pharisees who were grumbling about sinners being found, about sinners repenting. Now, there, there's probably someone you know that you're prone to grumble about. Just like the Pharisees grumbled about the tax collectors and sinners. They, they knew who they were, they knew who the, what their sins were, and they, they grumbled that they were around. There's probably someone that, that you grumble about. That if you find out that they're going to be at the party, you start to, to question whether or not you're going to go. Or if you see that they're sitting in that pew, well, normally you sit over on that side, but maybe you're going to sit on this side. If there's someone like that that you, you're prone to grumble about, reread this trilogy of parables in Luke 15 and focus on the joy that heaven has over that sinner. And then reach out to them today. Whether you send them a card, whether you call them on the phone, invite them to, to dinner. If they are someone that heaven is rejoicing over because Jesus died for them, because the Holy Spirit found them, gave them faith, and brought them to repentance. If heaven is rejoicing over them and you're grumbling about them, get over yourself today and reach out to them. Invite them to dinner. Send them a postcard. Do something that is closer to the joy that heaven has than to the grumbling that the Pharisees do. You are free from having to grumble because Jesus loves you, because you've been crucified with him. You're a baptized child of God. You're set free from the shackles of grumbling about other sinners. Of course they're sinners. Of course they mess up. Jesus died for them too. You can live in the freedom of that joy of heaven where there's this marvelous banquet that we've been hearing about these last couple of weeks. I pray that God will give you the strength to do just that, to reach out to someone that you'd rather grumble about. Do it today and rejoice in it. It's the good work of heaven. Peace be with you.